are my YouTube family remember to like my video and share my video and those who haven't subscribed to Bell Brown channels please do so okay now as I said I read I write and I share it with you because each one strengthen one okay don't be a stumbling block people make choices every day but seldom stop to think about the effect their decisions will have on those around them when you choose a wrong path you are not the only one who will get hurt for others will suffer because of your mistakes as well so true the bible says in first corinthians 12 verse 26 if one member suffers all the members suffers as a as a follower of, of christ your life should always be a living example of his love and God wants you to be a witness to all those you come in contact with. When you, fa when you fa fall, it will cause others to fall too. They're in true, when you fall, it will cause others to fall. Incredible responsibility that comes with being a Christian. There is there is and incredible responsibilities that comes with being a Christian. Acts 1 verse 8 says, You shall be witnesses to me. In Romans 14 verse 7, we are told, None of us live to himself. God wants us to love, support, and encourage each other. True. It's not enough to accept Christ for your Savior and then just keep him all to yourself. No. God wants you and I to share his love with others. And that is pretty tough to do if you are living a life with one foot in the church and the other foot out. True, true. And the other and one of the devil's ground. And the other foot and one of the devil's ground. Choose to live a godly life and don't allow selfishness in pure thoughts moral insensitive or spiritual weakness is cause your brother to fail also for um corinthians 8 verse 9 says says it's clearly but take take heed lest any any man let's go again but take heed lest by any means this liberty of yours become a stumbling block to them that are weak remember that when you are weak god is strong and when he and he will give you everything you need to defeat the enemy to make the right choice amen so what this text is saying that when we are weak we should remember that God is strong. So we are weak, but God is strong and God will uplift us, take us higher. And we should not have our one foot in the church and one foot on the devil's ground. So if we choose to serve God, we have to serve God with all our heart and our soul. Not to have one foot in church and one foot outside. That means you're going to church and after leaving church you're going to the dance hall to the party or go and do things that you know is not godly then others will see you was looking to you you know sometimes you're a christian and people look up to you with respect and then they go somewhere and spot you and say but wait look at bev brown who was at church reading bible praying and look where she is now at a dance or doing things that is ungodly that person looking up to me now going say no so i mean about going on church with them people yeah because so and so so me me stumble and me, my sister stumble and my brother stumble that what it, it is explaining so I, I hope you get the fullness of what i'm saying remember to like my video share my video and those who haven't subscribed to my run channels please do so so all you Christians out there, God said we should go and witness to others. Go and visit those who are in need, the needy ones. Look out for them. Share what we have with them. We don't have to have a whole lot. Just a little. Miss Bev Production, big up yourself every time. You always look out for the needy ones. Auntie Pauline, let us do our part. 
So to God be the glory, great things He had done for us, keeping us alive, keeping me to live to see my 61st birthday. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Big up on yourself every time. Peace out, Bev Brown said that.